Hi, this is Al, and welcome to the best moment in history. When Elon Musk introduced the new Tesla Roadster on November 16th, 2017, there was a number that amazed the world. 1.9. 1.9 seconds is the acceleration that this beast would need to accelerate from zero to 60 miles per hour. Everyone thought at the moment that it was crazy that a car could accelerate so fast. In fact, many engineers said that these 1.9 seconds were the limit that a car could reach with today's tire technology. However, in this video, we're going to see how Tesla is going to break his own record and the limits of the physics with this amazing Tesla Roadster Founders Edition that carries the SpaceX package and achieves an acceleration from zero to 60 in, please, please sit down in a chair. One point zero seconds. But before we continue, please subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any video like this one because that, that would be sadder than World closing without having saved. In November 2017, Elon Musk introduced the new Tesla Roadster, and this 1.9 seconds drove the public crazy. Be... And, um... But we must remember that the Tesla Model S P100D is the third fastest car in production that accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.28 seconds. And it's amazing that it's a family sedan, not like the sports car, much more expensive with which it competes. Right after the presentation of the brand new Tesla Roadster, great engineers said that Tesla had reached their current limits with this 1.9 seconds. Since, no matter how much power your engine has, you're limited by the grip of the tires. If you accelerate more than that limit, you will burn your tires, which is very fun, but not very fast. But Elon Musk thinks with first principles, and his limits are those of physics. So, if a conventional car is limited when the propulsion is transmitted through the wheels, then Let's make the propulsion transmit in another way. Yes, it's exactly what you're thinking. It's going to have uh, an option to have uh, rocket thrusters. Rocket thruster? Yes, from SpaceX. All right. See, I don't know when you're kidding and when you're not. Jay Leno himself couldn't believe that this guy is so crazy because only two years before he had testing himself the base Tesla Roadster and his reaction was hilarious. But first, please, if you're liking the video, give it a like. But let's see how fast we can go without leaving Earth. Ready to go for a little ride? Oh, uh, sure, what do I need to do? So the only thing I would do, Jay, is put your head on the headrest. Why would I need to put my head on the headrest? What Elon Musk is simply going to do with the Tesla Roadster's Founders Edition that has the SpaceX package is to place, in his own words, 10 small rocket thrusters arranged seamlessly around the car. These rocket engines dramatically improve acceleration, top speed, braking, and cornering. Maybe they will even allow a Tesla to fly. Using the data we have of the Tesla Roadster, Jason Frensk, the mechanical engineer of the YouTube channel Engineer Explained, calculated that the Founders Edition with the rocket thrusters will accelerate from 0 to 60 in probably 1.1 seconds. But since Elon Musk likes round numbers, I'm quite certain that he will do it in 1.0 seconds. Jason also calculated that it will be able to break from 60 to 0 in 14 meters, which is crazy. 
According to the prestigious Motor Trend magazine, the breaking record is currently held by the Chevrolet Corvette Stringa convertible with 27.4 meters. In summary, the new Tesla Roadster will accelerate in less than half the time of the acceleration record and will break in half the distance of the best car. Or put another way, it will be the best car in the world by far. But this strategy of external forces has already been carried out by other manufacturers to push the limits of tire technology. A clear example of this was done by the mythical Gordon Murray, who as a Formula 1 car designer designed the Braham BT46B that used ducted air from its giant cooling fan which sucked the car down. What happened when this car raced? The BT46B won by an absurd margin. And Gordon Murray's boss, who at the time was Bernie Eccleston, said that if they continued with this technology, the races would be so boring they would lose interest and decided to withdraw the fun. This challenging concept will be a success because, as far as I know, Elon Musk knows something about rocket thrusters. The Raptor present in the Starship is the rocket engine with the highest pressure in the combustion chamber ever reached by any rocket thrusters. And combining the best car, Tesla, with the best rocket thrusters, SpaceX will allow Tesla to deliver the best car ever created. In all the history of television, the most famous car ever broadcasted was the Night Rider. That wonder of science fiction made everything impossible. It could drive alone. Well, it's not that amazing. It held the bullets. Mm, the Cybertruck is 9mm bulletproof. But the features that drove crazy the millions of fans of these shows were Super Pursuit Mode, an emergency braking system that, as we have seen, the Founders Edition will include it. And of course, the best one of all of them, the Super Boosters. That, Elon Musk has already said that it can fly. Oh yes, and I forgot the indestructible mirrors. Sure? Yeah. Oh my fucking god. Well... Mm, maybe in this point it is better. So, of this fantastic car that we have seen so far, Tesla is creating a limited edition of just 1,000 cars and it can be yours for just $250,000. I know that for you that sum is nothing. But maybe you're thinking, hmm, Al, I'm filthy rich, but a car, as soon as you buy it, its price plummets. And I hate losing money. Well, in this point, I disagree with you for a double reason. One, the robot taxi. If you buy a Tesla today, I believe you are buying an appreciating asset, not a depreciating asset. But of course, Elon Musk has been promising this for years, so we're not sure when it will actually happen. But what we do know is what our friend Jay Leno tells us about car as an investment. That is the second reason for the appreciation of this car. Very beautiful cars appreciate. I was watching one of your previous guests, Kevin O'Leary, uh -huh. and, and he was talking a while back about how cars are a terrible investment. Mm -hmm. But I would tell him that I, I bought my McLaren F1 in 1999 for 800000 and the last offer I got was seventeen million five hundred. Oh my God! You know anything they're not making any more of? Bugattis, McLarens, Ferraris, rare models. You know those are the ones that tend to hold their value and and go up. If it's of technical interest, if it's exciting to look at, and it's fun to drive, those three elements will make for a car that'll probably go up in value. Let's check for a second if the Roadster Founders Edition meets Lessons Three condition. Technically interesting. <laughs> wow. 
well, the first car in history that flies accelerates from 0 to 60 in one second. Accomplished. Two. Beautiful. Personally, I'm in love with it. In fact, don't tell anyone, but I left my girlfriend as soon as I saw it. Accomplished. And the third one? It's fun to drive. Mm. I know it when you will invite me for writing your brand new Tesla Roadster Founders Edition with the SpaceX thrusters. And remember that you live in the best moment in history. Enjoy! Personally, this is the Tesla model that excites me the most. If they gave you a Tesla model for free that you couldn't sell, which one would you choose? If you like this video, give it a like, leave a comment, share it with the whole universe. And please, I want to make interesting videos for you, but I need to know what interests you. Leave a comment, I read them all. I'm working very hard to make possible the best content for you, but it takes time. Consider supporting the show in Patreon, the best moment in history, so I can stop living under the river and focus creating content for you. There's a link in the description. Anyway, you have to know that the best support for me is what you're doing right now, being here watching my videos. So, thank you so much from the heart.